Okay, so I got an email about a month ago from, I can't remember who the email was from, but I think his name was Kyle, but he, had, he wrote me a very interesting email and I wanted to address this topic because anyone, anyone on Team Fortune could find themselves in this situation. And me personally, I certainly deal with this shit a lot, okay? So basically what happened was Kyle's a young dude and he's a Team Fortune guy. He watches all my videos and he takes down notes. Good for him. That shows me he's a top guy, a top guy in the 10%. He invests his fucking time, his energy into developing himself, unlike the 90% who does not care about their personal growth, okay? So anyway, though, he takes the time to uh, develop his skills and he writes down these notes. And one day, his sister comes into his room, searching through his room and finds his notebook out. Starts reading his notes and she's like, oh my God, my, my brother's an asshole. God, oh no, oh my God, I gotta show everyone. I gotta show everyone, right? So she sees the notes and she takes a picture of them and sends a mass Snapchat out. Okay, a mass Snapchat. And what do you think happens? Kyle's girlfriend, of course, is on one of the other receiving end of the Snapchat and she sees all the notes and everything, okay? And she automatically thinks, oh my God, Kyle has been playing me to make me fall in love with him, okay? So she thinks that Kyle's been playing this big old fucking game, saying the right things to make her fall in love with him. And automatically, she starts to doubt the relationship, she starts to lose trust in him, she starts to fade away from him, and all of this shit, and to the point where she breaks up with him, right? So this, obviously not a fucking great look for Kyle, right? So here's the deal, right? If you're a Team Fortune guy and you're a guy who studies and invests himself and wants to fucking grow, good for you. You take action, you're taking notes, that's what you should do. But here's the deal. You really, really, really do not want girls to find that shit out, okay? You don't want them to find that shit out because this is the result that you're going to get. You're going to, they're gonna think that you've been using strategies to make them fucking like you, okay? They're gonna be thinking that, and from for them, if they think that you're using strategies, they're again, they're automatically gonna to come to this assumption that you're using strategies, and what does that look like? It makes it look like it's low fucking status because they don't think that you have enough confidence in yourself to do what you actually do and portray your real fucking self to them. Well, here's the deal, right? Again, you don't wanna get caught because this is the assumption that they're going to have, and this is the biggest this is just the biggest disruptancy that I've ever seen, okay? So for us guys, and again, this is something that I deal with and I'll tell you why in a minute, but for us guys, I don't teach gamey fucking shit. I don't, okay? I don't teach like IOIs and shit like that. And I don't like the, if you go to like read pickup artist books and shit like that, they'll talk about like disqualifying and saying shit like, Oh, I'm not available. I'm not a guy who's really, I'm taking guy, blah, blah, blah. And I've, I've looked at some of that shit and I've used that shit before in my early life to pick up girls. And believe me, it's worked a bunch of times, but I've always felt it's really contrived. Okay. I, th I think a lot of the shit is contrived because you're not really portraying your honest self. Okay. Now, that being said, I teach a lot of shit how to be a little more charismatic. I talk about smirking and shit like that because that's naturally attractive. Okay, there's some shit that you can learn and get better at to make you a more attractive man, and that's what I fucking do, okay? I teach status. I teach men how to be fucking men. I don't teach men how to be little pickup artists to wheel and deal fucking girls, okay? That's not what I teach, okay? I don't treat, teach any magic tricks or shit like that to make a girl like you any fucking more. I teach you, I teach men to just have fucking respect them for themselves, and that is what makes them more attractive. But anyway, that's beyond the point, okay? Girls naturally, if they figure this shit out that you're gonna do this, they're gonna just have some, they're gonna have a little bit of pushback, okay? So again, this is something that I deal with. Why is that? Because what do I do? What is my fucking profession? What do I do? I teach dudes how to get laid. I teach dudes how to make their relationship stronger. I teach dudes how to be more attractive altogether. So when I tell girls that, that I'm seeing that this is what I do, this is part of me, right? This is my lifestyle. What do they always fucking do? They have these pushbacks. They have massive fucking pushback because they think automatically they have this assumption that this guy's been toying with me. He's made me like him. 
Okay, he's done some fucking magic NLP shit to make me fucking like him. And the truth is, I'm fucking not. I don't have time for that bullshit. And anyone on Team Fortune realizes they don't have time for that bullshit either. Okay? They, they study game, they get good with girls, but that's because they're developing themselves. They're building themselves. That makes them better with fucking women. Okay? Because they start putting their emphasis on them fucking selves and not caring about the fucking chick. Okay? That's what. They care about themselves. They care about their development. They don't put all this care on trying to impress her. That's the big secret. Okay? That's it. They're indifferent about the result, and that's what makes them fucking attractive. Okay? It's not a fucking game. So when girls figure that shit out about me, they automatically just get doubts. And it's okay. I understand why. But here's the truth. And here's how you get out of it. You tell them that this ain't a fucking game. This is who I am. I'm studying to become a better fucking man. I'm working to invest and process myself into something greater than I have been in the past. I'm looking to grow each day, okay? In business, I need to be fucking high status, okay? I need to talk with fucking confidence. I need to be polarizing. I need to speak my truth, okay? I need eye contact. I need to be able to be charismatic. I need to have social skills. I need to be playful. I need to challenge people. This is who I am. And for girls, this shit's fucking attractive, okay? When I talk about social proof, okay? Social proof with women, I want to be around a lot of women because it makes me more fucking attractive. In business, if I tell people that I got like a hundred different clients from a hundred different countries. That looks good for me. That is social proof for me. So more people will invest in me and take me as a coach, okay? That's what's going to happen. The more people that I have as clients, the more people are going to be attracted to me and want my services. That's just how it fucking works. This isn't a fucking game. Okay? This is just building your fucking awareness up. And girls just do not understand that. Okay? And it's, it takes a fucking conversation with them to make them realize. Okay, So what Kyle needs to do if he wants to make it work with this girl is tell her, Listen, I'm not doing anything to... I didn't make you fall in love with me. I'm just doing shit that makes me more attractive as a fucking man. And if you want me to start being needy and beg and do all of this weak shit... You're not gonna, the minute I start doing this shit, you're not gonna fucking like me, okay? What I'm doing is learning how to be a fucking man. I'm not learning how to make you fall in love with me because I don't wanna make, have someone fake be in love with me. I want someone who wants me for the real fucking me. And to be completely honest, this can actually help you out because when you're being honest that I develop myself, I have a guy that I listen to, I have a guy that I take notes from, and you're proud of it, that's fucking awesome. This isn't something that you should be embarrassed about. It's just something that's going to, again, like something like this getting caught watching this shit, it's not embarrassing. I wouldn't get embarrassed about it. It's more so that it can cause some fucking drama in your relationship. That being said, it can also help you when you just tell her and you're completely honest. This is the real me. I care about developing myself. I love myself. I care. I want the best for my life. I know there's a short amount of time here and I want to be the best. I want to be the best. I want to constantly grow. I want to, I have so many fucking goals that I want to achieve. If I am not the best fucking partner, I'm not the most attractive partner for you. You can't be fucking happy. You just can't be. Okay. So you got to tell these girls that if they ever find out, 